You know, uh, I have to focus on so many big news stories every day. Sometimes I miss the little stories that just flash at the edge of my vision and may or may not be signs of early onset glaucoma. So <laughs> I catch up with those stories every Tuesday in my segment, Meanwhile. It's Tuesday. It must be meanwhile. <laughs> meanwhile, the International Gymnastics Federation has banned cat makeup. <laughs> yes, no more cat makeup, or as it's known in gymnastics, face doping. <laughs> the ban was triggered after a Dutch gymnast took to the mat looking like this. Yeah, she really got into it. In fact, for the finale of her routine, she caught and ate a mouse. <laughs> so. Now it's official. Face painting is not allowed, and any makeup must be modest and not portray a theatrical character, animal or human. Thankfully, I am still allowed to wear face paint while watching the gymnastics. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's good luck. It's a good look. I like that look. It's a good look. Meanwhile, it turns out living in Antarctica isn't as great as you'd think. Now, I'm gonna say it right up front. Everyone in the story is fine and safe. But it's just been reported that an Arctic scientist stabbed his colleague at a remote research station because he kept telling him the ending of books. <laughs> you know what? I think I might be on the side of the stabber. <laughs> oh, you want to uh, you want to spoil the ending of my book? I'll spoil an ending for you. Yours. Gah, gah. They should have seen this coming. I mean, have we learned nothing from the movie The Thing? It dramatically showed the horrific effects of cooping up bored book lovers in an Antarctic research station. Dumbledore dies! Meanwhile... <laughs> Half-blood prince, Dumbledore dies at the end of it. Meanwhile... If marijuana isn't legal in your state, don't worry, folks, because researchers have just discovered that you can also get high from a moss-like plant that's even better at relieving pain than cannabis. This major scientific breakthrough was made by Dr. Dave Spider Wiggins <laughs> in his landmark study, If You Give Me Five Bucks, I'll Smoke This Moss. <laughs> meanwhile... <laughs> meanwhile... A couple who set sail on a Carnival cruise ship says they found a hidden camera pointing at their bed while aboard the Carnival ship Fantasy. Hey, Carnival never specified whose fantasy it was. Hey. If this boat's a rockin', it's because we're at sea. <laughs> Meanwhile, Halloween just got a lot cuter, because according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, yes, you can dress up your chicken for Halloween. See? I told you so, honey. <laughs> Apparently, various news reports had previously cited false articles about a CDC warning against dressing up chickens due to the potential spread of salmonella, leading the CDC to issue a press release, erroneous media reports about chickens and Halloween costumes. <laughs> nice to see the CDC is tackling the big issues. <laughs> Did you see Ebola's back in the Democratic Republic of Congo? No? That's cool. Just keep monitoring the chicken costume situation. <laughs> but now that the CDC has given us the sign-off, I'm looking forward to seeing chickens in all my favorite Halloween costumes tomorrow, including the Incredible Yolk, <laughs> Cluck Norris, and, of course, Roost Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> we'll be right back.